Oh, hello everybody. Yeah, so quickly uh, let me talk about uh, your portfolio on stocks. I'm a fan of um, holding in your stock portfolio 100% stocks and not bonds uh, because um, you have other assets. Um, the perfect way is you have at least uh, three sources of income when you retire. That is besides your social security, you may have um, maybe another pension or you have a rented property and then you can have maybe dividends. And through that structure you have at least uh, like uh, three different sources of income. Uh, it is not so uh, bad, it is not so dangerous when there is a stock market crisis or a stock market crash. So it hurts you of course, but you have two others at least uh, sources of income and that may reduce the effect of a, a stock market crash. So in the long run the um, stock market is the best asset that is out there, but most people cannot deal with it, they don't know how to react, they uh, react to every volatility that is out there, they trade too much and they get nervous in a crash and it's very difficult for most, uh, for the masses to understand, to pick the right stocks or even just to pick an index fund and permanently save. But if you understand uh, the tools and how to react and how to deal with a, a, a crash for example, then the stock market is the right way to go in the long run for your retirement short term of course you should also have like an, an a cushion like some saved up uh, some money saved up on a cd if you get unemployed if you have problems if you have an accident if your car breaks down the washing machine the dishwasher if you need a repair or if you want to do a, a renovation you always want to pay with cash and not with debt if there's a crisis you want to have not to deal with a money problem. Always be careful, have some cushion, have some cash on a CD, for example, in case of an emergency. It's called an emergency fund. People like Susie Orman or Dave Ramsey always talk about it. It's very important to have that. They always talk about it. They recommend to have it for several months, like for six months of income an emergency fund. Let's uh, assume there's an accident, you have problems, something, you lose your job and so on. You don't want to deal in that stupid um, situation also with a, a cash problem. So that's a smart way to to avoid a money problem. You have enough problems to deal with. So you, if you have an emergency fund, that's the right way to go. And that helps you in that uh, difficult situation. And that's the good thing about it. It uh, helps you to calm down. It will not solve the problem itself, but it, it makes the problem easier to solve um, when you have an emergency fund. The same with um, um, the retirement fund. A lot of people don't, they don't think a long term and they, they forget about it. And it makes life so much easier when you don't want to retire very poorly. You want to have, maybe you can retire earlier when you start early and enough and that's that's a great gift uh, the compounding effect parents should teach their children how to deal with uh, money consumption a product as what uh, they should teach their, chi their kids what is a cd what is a stock what is the stock market what what does it mean to be rich what does it mean to be poor and all that things um the more people and parents teach the better their children have it later on and they they understand it then and people uh, parents shouldn't be surprised when they're when their kids when they start their first job um when they go bankrupt and they file for bankruptcy because they the, when the parents never tell them and uh, and explain to them what it does mean to to consume and stuff and w what money is and and so on they shouldn't be surprised when uh, something like that happens money should not be a taboo in a family they should be talking and teaching and explaining. Of course, it is difficult for children and kids to understand what is interest and so on, but you should at least try and the earlier you start, you, there are ways to explain it. And for them, it makes their life easier. That's what I think. So they respect light on money and they don't throw it around. They, 
overconsumption isn't then uh, shouldn't be a problem then if they understand the the two uh, pillars like consumption and um, earnings and income and money and yeah so there's a lot to do for everybody you should um, you should look at your situation you should look um, how much you can save uh, let's say you should be really strict if you say like oh I can save hundred fifty dollars a month and then you should take the hundred fifty maybe work even harder on it and increase it to hundred eighty dollars a month and put it to the side and invest and save it long term the difference between saving is usually uh, saving is like for the short term that's the emergency fund and investing is for the long run that's for the retirement for your retirement funds okay that's all for today take care bye oh um, I forgot I want to show you my smart TV um, it is um, 20 years old and it still works my neighbor threw it away and uh, because she bought a nice flat one a flat screen TV and uh, I have this one and the surprising thing it's almost 20 years old and it still it still works okay that's all for today bye